make this one simple wish meant for ever. What's going on? It's your girl Ty here, which stands for Together Individual Entertainment. Rem remember to like and subscribe my page. Also follow me on Together Individual Entertainment Facebook page. Ty Blog is the name of the game for my YouTube and podcast. Podcasts are Anchor.fm and listen to me on Spotify. Okay, so it is finally here. Happy Christmas Eve, everyone! Yay! It's Christmas Eve! And as you can tell, I've still got my jammies on. Um, this is just a pre-recording. I pre-recorded myself pretty early in the morning, but still, it is Christmas Eve, so one more day until Christmas, so that's tomorrow. Yay! So, I just wanted to get into my last two books. Unfortunately, I wish it was one more, uh, which would have been The Christmas Carol, but unfortunately, I don't have that one. I'm hoping next year I will have The Christmas Carol, but um, in this video, it's going to be Santa Slay is on its way to Pittsburgh. So, let's get started. Alright, here we go. The moon over Pittsburgh gives off a cold glow. The city lies snug under blankets of snow. The star-sprinkled sky is especially bright. Hey Santa, hey Santa, please visit tonight. The snowman in Bingsville stand perfectly still. Their hats and their scarves keeping out of my chill. The ice could sparkle as snowflakes drift down from Bon Air to Middle Hill and all around. Oh, by the way, I also uh, read a story like this similar, except it was called Santa Slay. Uh, it's on his way to Pennsylvania, but he's now in the city of Pittsburgh, which is in Allegheny County in Pennsylvania. So uh, let's keep going. Most of it is still the same in this book, but others are different. So let's continue. The Christmas trees twinkle, the eggnog smells sweet, the stockings are out for the gifts, not your feet. The garlands and paper chains hang from the ceiling and give the whole household that Christmassy feeling. Exciting young children with heads full of wishes leave large Christmas cookies and carrots on dishes. They scurry upstairs for they heard it said that Santa comes once you're asleep in your bed. In Brooklyn, the yards only become stronger and stronger. The children of Spring Hill can't stay out much longer. From Greenfield Shady Side, the South Hills too, they're soon sleeping soundly, all children but you. You stand in your window and gaze at the sky with hopes that you'll see Santa sleigh whizzing by. You almost nod off, but see movement ahead. A flurry of white and some flashes of red. You jump up and down as the sheep become clear. Hey, Santa, hey, Santa, my home's over here. But something was wrong. There had sparks everywhere. The sleigh twists and turns as it swoops through the air. You're wide awake now. You've had such a fright. There's no chance of sleeping. So you know he's all right. You think about Santa, his reindeer, and sleigh. Hey Santa, hey Santa, I hope you're okay. Yes, Santa is fine. He is in Chinley Park, replacing fuse for his sleigh in the dark. He tugs on the reins, shouting up, up, away, and hits the ignition, which starts up his sleigh. But... If he's going to start up his sleigh, we need to give him all the Christmas magic we can get. Christmas magic of Christmas spirit, uh, Christmas love, cheer, whatever it is. We got to give him something Christmassy to get that sleigh loaded up and up, up, up away off the ground tonight. So be ready. With magical speed only Santa possesses, he visits well over a thousand addresses. From Beachview, Regent Square, handing out toys, he visits each house without making a noise. Now Santa has been to all but one. He can't go back till the last house is done. It's your house, of course, but you're still wide awake. He circles above as he takes a small break, and that's when you see him. You know he's all right. Your head hits the pillow. You're out like a light. He lands on the room to sound on your snores. It's Santa, it's Santa, he's coming indoors. But ah, uh, you wake up and you jump to 
from your feet. You're sure you forgot to leave Santa a treat. Will Santa leave presents for someone so rude? You must go downstairs and make sure he has food. You enter the kitchen and turn on the light, not spying the figure who ducks out of sight. You're still half asleep, so you don't find it weird that the broom has a hat and a coat and a beard? You get out the cookies, still rubbing your eyes, too blurry to make out his clever disguise. You open the fridge door and don't spot the broom as it sweeps past you into the family room. With a plate in your hands, you head off to the tree. You're feeling so sleepy, you don't even see a sight that would have your heart skipping a beat. The curtains have sprouted two Santa-sized feet. So sleepy, you head back to bed with a smile and the panic is over. It's all been worthwhile and you climb up the staircase not once looking back as a chuckling Santa takes toys from his sack. Ho, ho, ho! Now Santa is leaning, his sleigh races high, it sparkles and fizzles and lights up the sky. The Highland Park street lights grow dim in the night. Hey Santa, hey Santa, please have a safe flight. Soon Santa leaves Pittsburgh, fine houses behind, where children are lovely and grown-ups are kind, and then he booms loudly, his voice full of cheer. Ho, 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 Pittsburgh. I'll see you next year. <laughs> All right, so that was Santa Slate is on his way to Pittsburgh. I hope you guys will leave out the milk and cookies and some oats or carrots for the reindeer as well. So, I hope you enjoyed that little Christmas Eve tale. And make sure you get plenty of sleep for tomorrow, opening presents and stuff. This is Ty saying, happy Christmas Eve and happy holidays. Bye! is all around everything is calm on christmas eve